Okay guys, so today I made the move of my Camponotus nicobarensis in the new nest. And it just came from work. Uh, in the morning there were no ants here. They just scouted it yesterday. And now when I came from work, I found this. Look at this, how beautiful this is. The queen is there in the upper chamber. And I see now different compartments with the larva and pupae, big ones. I see that they bring brought also some mess inside. I don't know if it's like food storage or something. I hope they don't mess that much the nest. Uh, this wooden nest, as I said before, uh, it's from Foranto. Maybe you saw it in my unpack video uh, it's very nice made and yeah i discovered that the camponotus didn't like dry uh, uh, wet nests so i took this dry one and i think they enjoy it um, i put here a heat mat in the back the one i had um, and yeah at this time are 23.2. I'm not sure how to do it. Um, I have to see. I saw a lot of people that used uh, just room temperature uh, and this works good. So I have in the night maybe 22, 21. It's getting warmer anyway. So I have to see. Now the arena, it's, it's a mess. So the old nest, it's almost empty. That's good. Uh, I hope they move all of them and then I can take it and clean it. Uh, now, what happened tonight was very interesting. So I found this piece of wood with the moss. I wanted to make it a bit like, I don't know, look cool. A more naturalistic setup, just a bit. Uh, I don't want to put anything anymore because I think it's hard to clean if we have sand or something they messed it up with with dead carcasses and and I don't know I want to let it like this anyway I did it nice and then the next day I found like this mess so they are like in the night I don't know what doing so yeah I have to see and the other stuff that was also interesting I had this drinking uh how do you call it where the water is you know i put it near the wood so i thought maybe they have an easy time to climb from the wood to the drink uh, compartment but then they throw some some stuff there and somehow they made a connection with the wood and in the morning all of the water ran out and here was like flooded everything and the wood was complete moist so yeah that was interesting i didn't know it so <laughs> yeah well nothing happened the other thing was 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 funny um, i had the heat mat yesterday half of the nest and it was somehow i don't know maybe too hot because the ants started to move the the eggs from the upper part from the upper part to the lower part so away from the heat and i thought ah okay maybe it's uh, too much heat and i pulled a bit the the heat mat i pulled it out so in the night i was checking before i went to bed and i saw that almost all the eggs were gone and then i checked the wooden nest i saw only four or five ants so i thought oh my god where are the eggs and what do you think they took all the eggs inside the you know here is the the cut where you can put a heat cable so very nice uh, thought from aesthetic ants but i don't have a heat cable here right because i had the nest here in the arena anyway so they they moved all the larvae down there and <laughs> so all the eggs uh, it was funny uh, so it was warmer there i suppose yeah anyway so uh, that's that's the update what i had anyway i am very happy with the nest and i think it looks very nice it looks very nice 
uh, yeah. So uh, we'll see how things goes from here. I'm I'm wondering what should be the lowest temperature where they uh, start to I don't know. I think the queen takes a break then or or doesn't a leg uh, 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 lays eggs that much when it's too cold or something. Maybe some someone knows. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, that's it. Also, the queen from. Uh, from my unpacking video, the Crematogaster scutellaris. It's doing good, she has like four or five eggs, but they are very tiny. You know, I'm, I'm used to the to the Camponotus queen and the eggs. So when I look inside there, I think, oh my God, everything is tiny. But uh, yeah, I hope uh, it will go good. So yeah, so that's it guys. See you, bye.